steak and egg and cheese from the dining hall yesterday. And I've been getting them like the night before so that if I don't have groceries in the morning, I can still have breakfast. I don't know. It works out pretty good. Don't mind my hair because, um, as you can see, well, it's just that, yeah. I've been trying to decide whether I want to cut my bangs or grow them out. And I think I decided today I'm going to recut them. I cut them myself. Every single time I've ever cut them was myself. But the reason they're so long now is because the last time I cut them, I fucked it up. And I got scared and I was like, you know what? No, they're growing out for like a really long time. Success, they grew out for a really long time. But now it's time to cut them again. Yeah. Then after that, I'm gonna stop by the Halloween store because the wig that I got for one of my costumes is just not, not it. But, but I like the outfit that I have for it. So I need to like look and see if I can find something to like keep the outfit and just like change what the character is. Then from there, I'm gonna go up to Upper West Side, find like a cute little park or something. I don't know, I'm just exploring. What time is it? I feel like I'm kind of running out of time. Yeah. Then later I have class and I have a midterm that I kind of forgot about so I have to get back earlier here so I can at least like study just a little bit. Yeah, so I kind of got to go like right now. So. All right. Yes, I'm using arts and crafts scissors. That's what I've done every time. Ooh. Yeah, this is not good. I should have not done. Oh my god. Well, okay, you can't really see, but. <laughs> okay. See? All right, the bangs are back. All right, now, let's go. Let's go on our adventure. for no reason and then the guy accused me of stealing on the way out because I didn't get a bag like anyways all I ended up getting was this like this was literally the cheapest thing I could find that would like match with my costume sorry I'm just like, tripping about my bangs still anyways this is the cheapest thing I could find that would like match with my costume so it, it's like a unicorn thing but it was cool because like most of the headbands that were like just this were like 30 bucks i was like i'm not paying 30 bucks for a headband but this one is 10 and it has gems it's like little face gems so that's like a pretty good deal that was literally probably the cheapest thing in the entire store and then i didn't get a bag because i have this and on the way out the guy was like excuse me excuse me miss did you did you buy something can i see your receipt I don't really know where I'm going or what I'm specifically looking for on the elusive Upper West Side, but I put in directions for a park. So I guess I'm just gonna follow that. And the park is kind of near Columbia, which is like the area I wanted to go towards anyways. 
so I'm just gonna go there and then see what the hell I can find. I also brought my journal, so I'm gonna try and find a cute little bench and just like sit there and chill, write a little bit. Who knows? I'm just, I'm just winging it. pretty symbolic because it was the only college I wanted to go to and I didn't get rejected but I got deferred and I was so upset. I still chose to go to school in New York and so I've always wondered what would have happened if I had followed up with my application and if I would have gotten in. Where I ended up I'm a lot happier at than I think I would have ever been here. I guess the moral of the story is that not every rejection is a rejection. Sometimes it's just redirecting you to somewhere better.